here. In November of 1835, scores of women, children and elder Lingoni people drowned while attempting to cross the Zambezi River. They were led by their chief, the Mpazini, through crocodile infested waters. When suddenly, the sun darkened and the sky became night. It was the solar eclipse of November 19, 1835 marking the crossing of the Zambezi River. In the 1800s they raided people they found along their route, while on the run from His Royal Highness King of the Zulu, Shaka with his soldiers. The 1800s was a period of much strives and tribal wars in southern Africa. They were escaping persecution from the legendary King, Shaka of the Zulu in KwaZulu Natal, in South Africa. During the procession that lasted many years, the Goni lost their language and some of their tradition. After travelling to Tanzania, they turned round southwards and settled in the eastern part of present-day Zambia. Another group settled in neighbouring Malawi. At Luangini, the chief of Mpazini's village, the Goni people lost their first battle. It was here that Tsingo, chief of Mpazini's first son and crown prince offered himself to be killed together with his wife as sacrificed. The current Mpazini is the fourth king from the first Mpazini. The Ngoni people are settled in the eastern province of Zambia. Despite losing some customs, they have continued to maintain some of their rich cultural heritage. The Nkwala ceremony, one of Zambia's traditional ceremonies, was not lost. Nkwala is a royal dance, held at the end of February, each year to celebrate the first fruits of the harvest. The first crops from the gardens are presented to the chief to taste. This is called Maswala and is done before the actual ceremony. The ceremony is held at Mtengalini village where the Ngoni troops take to the royal war dance with knock berries and animals shield while dressed in animal skins. The fiercer the animal, the more prized its skin. Pizzini wears a lion's skin as a mark of his royalty. 